Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raiman. My name is Mr. Jem Raiman Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School, Schools Division of Escalante City, DepEd Region 6, Western Visayas. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Hello class, how are you today? We are now on our week 10 of our science class. Since nahumano na ito atong lessons sa ito ang first grading period, again, ako ang gisulti last week, hasta karon we will have our review of our topics on science that we discussed for the past weeks. Okay, para karong si manahaw na class, muhatag sa ko kadali og activity party sa ito ang module 1, sa ito ang review last week. And after that, we will have our review for our module 2, no? About separating mixtures techniques. Okay, let's have first an activity for our module 1 about mixture and its characteristics. Okay, let's have part 1. Identify whether the following substances is a homogeneous mixture or heterogeneous mixture. Dili na niya kinanglan isulat ka sa isulti lang imuhang sabat. Number one, what's that? Correct. Heterogeneous mixture. Ang halo-halo, di ba? Next, cookies. Very good. Heterogeneous mixture. Next, number three, sugar. Homogeneous mixture. Very good. Next, number four, apple juice. Homogeneous mixture. Very good. And number five, soy sauce or patis. What's that? Very good. Homogeneous mixture. Okay? Part two, direction. Identify whether the substance is a solution, suspension, or colloid. Again, dili na kinanglan isulat. Imuha lang isulti imuhang sabat. Number one, milk. What's that? Correct. Colloid. Next, blood. Colloid. Very good. Chalk dust in water. Suspension, very good because chalk dust cannot be dissolved in water. How about sand and water? Steel, suspension, very good. Next, soft drinks. Very good. Soft drinks is considered as solution. Part 3, direction. Tell true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. Number 1, solid substances can be suspended in gas. Isulti lang sabat. True or false? True, very good. Blood is a colloidal mixture. True or false? Correct, true. A ball of oatmeal is an example of mixture. True or false? Correct, true. Coffee drink is an example of heterogeneous mixture. Of course, false. And the last number is mixture forms by only one substance. The correct answer is false. So, what's your score, class? Okay, I'm sure you've got a very high score on this activity. Kay review naman lang ni. Okay? Let's review now your module 2. This is all about the techniques in separating mixtures. Okay, number 1 is, of course, filtering. Filtering is a method in which solid and liquid components are separated with the use of filter paper or filter cloth as a medium in which liquid passes through a filter paper leaving insoluble solid materials in medium. Ideally, filtering is a method to be used in separating liquid and solid mixtures. Okay, so di na to ginagamit ang filtering, of course, in getting the, the juice from the created coconut or katong mga gata, no? And then, we have also the tea powder and the hot water. So, usually, nabutang sa sulod sa filter paper ang tea powder. 
Okay, that's why filtering could be used in there. Okay, we have sieving. Sieving is a method in which two or more components of different sizes are separated from a mixture on the basis of the difference in their sizes. And usually, it uses a sieve or strainer. Okay, katong mga lain-lain ng sizes, just like ang balas o ang mga bato. So, pwede na ito gamitan of sieve. Okay, just like you've seen there in your screen. So, this is an example of sieving. And this one, in separating stone and the sand. Next is, we have evaporation. Evaporation is a process of separating mixtures which involves heating the solution until the solvent evaporates, leaving behind the solid residue. So, ang ginagamit na po sa evaporation is ang init sa adlaw or even ang kalayo or heat. No? So, usually, ginaseparate na to ang mga solution, just like salt water. Okay, in boiling water also. And also, drying of clothes and the wet road. So, ang wet road, ma-dry ma na siya by the use of sunlight because the water will evaporate when heated. Okay, next is decantation. Decantation is a technique used in separating a less dense substance from a dense one. Ang katong mga bugat nga mga substance, just like soil. So, ang soil, medyo bugat siya. So, muunlod siya. And then, i-decant na to or i-pour na to ang liquid from other container. And we have by the use of magnet or magnetism is a technique used to separate metals from non-metals. Metals are attracted to the magnets while non-metals are not. No? Katong mga mga metals, pwede siya magamitan o magnet kung imo siyang i-separate from other kinds of materials. Just like ang thumbtacks. Una siya sa sand, so pwede ni mo siya gamitan o uh, magnet para ma-attract ang imuhang thumbtacks dito sa imuhang magnet. Ma-separate na siya dayon. Okay, to sum it up class, these are the following techniques in separating mixture. Sieving, filtering, evaporation, sedimentation, decantation, magnetism. Yes, I said, aside from this, we have also other techniques not mentioned in your module. And we have the winnowing, ang katong pag gamit sa hangin kas na sa pag-separate sa mga lighter materials o ang mga heavier materials just like in separating rice grain from rice husk and we have panning in, by the use of pan in especially in getting the gold and we have centrifugation just like when you separate the particles of the blood okay and we have distillation no? Evaporate ni mo ang tubig and then after that, imo siyang i-condense. So, ma-separate na to ang solution sa water from the impurities by the use of distillation. And also, we have hand picking. Of course, gamit nga to ang kamot. Pwede po taka-separate of mixture. Okay, let's have an activity. Identify the methods of separating mixtures described in each picture. Now, what's that? Okay, that's winnowing. Next is, we have What's that? Sieving. Very good. It's one. That one. That's centrifugation. And this one is correct. Distillation. This one. Decantation. Okay, another activity. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. Again, dili na kinanan isulat plus ha? Isulti na lang imuhang sabat. Number one, a mixture of sand and water can be separated by filtration. True or false? True. Correct. Next, number two, water can be separated from salt by evaporation. True or false? True. Very good. A mixture of wheat grains and wheat flour can be separated by sieving. Correct. True. Number four, a mixture of steel and rice flour can be separated by magnets. Correct. True. Number five, a mixture of wheat grains and rice hulls can be separated by evaporation. True or false? False. Okay, that's all about our review for the module one of the first grading period. Reminder lang class ha, katong mga wala pa kasubmit ba? No, kadumdum pa mo ane sa imuhang output na about the solution with its characteristics at itong mga information na to. So, ang uban nakasubmit sa kwa online. Iba yung anak ko na yung pwede na po drawing. Okay? Sa katong mga wala pa 
magka-submit, please do submit na, no? Pero katong nakasubmit na, never mind. Okay na, ayaw na pag-submit ng usap. And then also about the suspension. Kadumdum mo sa vlog or sa vlog na ito ang ako ang i- gipaobra sa inyo ha pero kung dili kaya ang vlog pwede ra po drawing okay ang uban nakasubmit na og vlog pero ang uban wala pa pero kung dili kagen kaya sa vlog pwede ra drawing no and then we have also the summative test na to vlog po to kung gipaobra sa inyo ha pero kung dili kaya drawing lang no sa filtering og save saving and evaporation okay magubra kag vlog party sa filtering or saving and evaporation. Pero kung dili again kaya sa vlog, drawing lang and then you write explanation on what kind of technique you are illustrating sa drawing ni mo. And of course, your summative test part 2 katong explain na ko ganina sa decantation of magnetism, katong e-poster or electronic poster or pwede ra po drawing lang. No? Sa katong mga wala kapas, mauni mong ubrahon, no? for this week okay para makasubmit na ka o makakumpleto na ka sa mga mga requirements for the first grading period okay ubrahon ni nimo class bakaw man nimo glantaw sa ato ang video okay so if you want to review all the videos that we have for the past weeks no since week 1 up to now you can visit the SS website the SS official website www.ss.info Okay, mauni siya dahil yan ang imo makita class. And then, i-click rin lang mo sa babaw and then you will see all the videos from kinder to grade 6. Don't forget to tune in in our Radyo Atraka everyday. No? Tanan na to nga klase na na siya radio-based instructions. No? Buti pa sabot, pwede niyo mapamatian bagamit ang imuhang radyo dila sa inuhang balay. Even ang inyo mga tablet class, parang tablet ninyo nang ginapahulang sa sa SS na anaderay FM. So kung ganahan ka, pwede po na nimo magamit ang imuhang tablet o wala kay radyo. Okay? So please do tune in in our radyo atraka for our radio-based instructions from kinder to grade 6 in all subject areas. If we have RBI class, we have also our TVI, our TV-based instructions. All the video lesson coming from the central office will be aired in IBC channel. If you want, if you miss the video lessons aired in IBC channel, they have also their Facebook page. So please like it and you will be updated for the video lessons no, aired in the IBC channel. Okay, please subscribe the YouTube channel of Deep Ed TV, no? Kung dili magindi mo siya makita ang ilahang video lessons sa channel IBC, you can watch it on YouTube. Just click subscribe, then you will be updated in all video lessons aired in IBC channel. Okay, again class, if you have questions, please do contact me during our offline and online kamustahan, okay? We are scheduled 2.30 to 3.30 every Wednesday. Okay? You can contact me during these hours for your queries about our lessons. Kung ganahan ka class, mulang tao in advance sa ako ang mga lesson, especially para sa sunod sa semana, ako ang na siyang i-upload kada webe sa gabi or birne sa buntag. No? Kung gusto lang nimo mo, mo advance o glantaw. Okay? Para medyo taway-tawhay ka pagkasunod si Mana. Kung di magini mo makuha akong lesson, at least uh, follow up na lang no? ang video nga naa sa imong USD. But then, at least nakabalo na ka unsa atong iklase pagkasunod si Mana. Again, in-upload ko na in advance ang ako ang mga video lesson for the following week. No? every Thursday evening or morning of Friday. So, para sunod si Mana class, karong umaabot nga webe sa gabi or buntag sa Friday, ako anang i-upload ang atong iklasi sunod si Mana. No? So, advance na ka. Kung madilit po din mo yung video, at least, pwede rin ni mo mabalik-balik o lantaw sa YouTube ang ato ang video lesson sa science. Again, please subscribe on my channel in YouTube. Just type tutorial by Sir Raymond. Thank you so much class. God bless everyone. Don't forget to stay home, stay safe.
够。